Hi, I'm Bob Berner from Pluggable Technologies, and what I'd like to do today is give you a quick introduction in how to set up our new Thunderbolt 3 single display non-charging docking station. So let's jump right in. I have our new Thunderbolt 3 docking station here. I've already taken everything out of the box, and I've actually got the dock facing backwards so you can see what I'm doing. So in the box we get not only the dock itself, a power adapter, which I've got plugged in already, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, and also a display port to HDMI adapter. We'll get to that in just a second. So the dock itself has several ports, but first let's look at, it has a built-in display port output to connect a single display port enabled display. Now, if you don't have a display port enabled display, that's why we include the adapter I just mentioned. So I'm gonna take that adapter and I'm gonna plug it in. And I'm gonna plug in my HDMI cable for my display to get that connected. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the included Thunderbolt 3 cable, plug it into one of the two Thunderbolt 3 ports that are on the dock, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect that to my Windows 10 system. This is a Dell XPS 159560 with Thunderbolt 3. And you can see already it's ex duplicating my internal display to the display connected to the dock. And I can see there's an Intel utility that's designed to allow me to approve Thunderbolt 3 devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell that to always connect this device when I connect it. And everything's just working as it should. Now, in addition to driving one display from the dock with its built-in capabilities, the dock actually has the ability to drive two total displays. Let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my single display to the side for just a minute. And I'm gonna grab another display that I have just off camera that I already have a pluggable display port to USB-C cable connected to it. So I'm gonna take the USB-C end of that cable and plug it into the second Thunderbolt 3 port of the dock. And in just a moment, as Windows enumerates the new display, we should see them all light up. And there you have it. I have my internal display, my first external display that's directly connected to the DisplayPort output of the dock, and my second display connected via a USB-C to DisplayPort cable to the second display. The dock can actually support up to two 4K displays at 60 hertz, depending obviously on what your monitor supports. So in addition to the two displays, we also have audio input and output for headphones and a microphone, a USB type A port, a wired Intel gigabit ethernet port, and on the front, uh, there's another USB type A port and a USB type C port. So that's a quick run through of setting up the dock on a Windows system. But what about the Mac? One of the easy things about Thunderbolt 3, I can unplug that. I've got my MacBook Pro late 2016, 13 inch version with touch bar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. And in just one moment, we'd see the same thing. We have our two displays connected and we could use any other peripherals attached to the dock. Notice that we didn't get any pop-ups talking about authentication. That's only required on Windows systems. On a Mac system, everything just works and the operating system handles it for you. This docking station does not charge the host system via Thunderbolt 3. It does everything but charge that way. In order to charge, you'd still have to use the power adapter that came with your system. So that's a quick introduction to our Thunderbolt 3 docking station. Hope you found that useful. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching that video. Here's some of our other videos for you to check out. Thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Google+.